What's going on guys? It's Zach with Zach's Muscle Motors. Today we're going to talk about distributors. Now we talked before about ignition timing, how to set your ignition timing, kind of what it means and, and the basics of it. Now this gets in more depth on the distributor itself. I had a viewer ask me, hey man, uh, you know, basically the motor's out of the truck. I got all the wires off. I don't know how to put them back together. What are these wires for coming out of the distributor? Um, now I'm assuming that he's got an HEI distributor and that's probably the case. Um, especially within a 77 is probably HEI. Um, unless some of these guys put, you know, an older point system in it, you're gonna be running HEI in these cars. Um, it's a lot better way of going about it. Um, before you, you, when your distributor used to have a sprocket in the middle that had several triangular points off of it. And when those triangular points would run past these pedestals with these pickups on the inside of the, the cap, it would then energize that particular spark plug and create the fire. Now the problem with that was, is with the point system you had to have a particular gap set in order for that spark to transfer from the sprocket to your pedestal to your spark plug. That gap would get bigger over time, would wear out, you have to go back in, reset all your points, re-gap them. Okay? GM's answer to this was an AGI coil. Okay? It was a lot different design, um, a lot better actually. So, basically what you have now is it's almost a plug and play operation. You have your 12 volt power source coming in. That can come from your ignition, from your key. It can come from a particular switch, like I've got a painless wiring switch. This is going in my street car, okay. Ignition, you turn your ignition, 12 volt power to your ignition, directly from the battery on, okay. It energizes when it's on. It has to be powered constantly, okay. So you turn it on, you have 12 volts going to your your coil and to your ignition control module. Pretty simple. Um, your ignition control module on the inside here is this basically like a little mini computer pretty much and this adjusts your spark. How much spark, how little spark, how hot the spark. Um, you can buy a badass coil. You can put a badass coil in this but if you don't have the ignition control module to run with it you're spinning your wheels, you're not making any progress. So, both of those go hand in hand. Now basically kind of getting off that and getting into the actual operation, uh, with your 400 small block, your firing order is 18436572. Okay? Remember that number like your social security number. It's, it's gold. Um, 1843-6572 is the small block standard for the Chevy small blocks. Okay. Basically when you install your distributor, and I have a video that kind of talks about that. I'm gonna make a new one because everyone's kind of vague, I was in a rush, and you know, bad things happen when you get in a rush. And you don't have much time. Okay. Um, with this, this distributor does not have vacuum advance. The vacuum advance on this one has been deleted, so there's no um, horn out here that runs for vacuum that does anything with your timing advancement due to vacuum. It's been deleted, it's gone, it doesn't exist anymore. On yours it very well might. So when you go to install a distributor, that's something you need to consider, is especially if you're in a carburetor, um, how much distance do you have between your distributor and your firewall? Because you don't have much room to turn that to get into your firewall. If you've got the air horn on there, it'll get into your carburetor with it on there. Doesn't give you much room for adjustment. I don't have to worry about that because mine's gone. Okay, so basically we're going to pretend like I'm standing at the front of the engine. Typically your air horn is on the passenger side of the vehicle or your left side if you're looking at the car. Okay, set your distributor in. What you have to make sure of is that your rotor button right here, when you install your distributor, it doesn't matter which one of these pedestals you want to use off this cap for your number one cylinder. It doesn't make a difference as long as you have them all in order and your rotor button is pointing at the number one cylinder. So you bring your piston to number one, or to top dead center, number one cylinder to top dead center. Okay, there's a tool for that, right here. Okay, this is a top dead center tool. You thread that down into where your spark plug goes. You adjust this rod in. You bring your piston up to where it just barely touches this. Okay, don't do it hard because you will damage your piston and it will create a failure or you can bend this and not get it back out of your block. And make sure before you start your engine back up or even try to turn it over with a starter, you have this damn thing out because if you don't, you're gonna screw a lot of stuff up and you're gonna wish you'd never even tried doing this. But it's not hard. Just use some common sense. Step by step, remember what you're doing. It's not difficult, okay? Bring your piston to the top dead center. 
or when you're using that tool, what you're going to do is after you get it in there, bring your piston up to where it just touches, stop. If you're using an aftermarket pointer system, make a mark on your damper where that pointer is. Turn it back, all the way back the opposite way. So go clockwise first, go counterclockwise back the other way until it comes back up on the backstroke and touches it again. Make another mark on your pointer. In between those two marks on your damper or your harmonic balancer, whatever you want to call it, in between those two marks is your top dead center. Now if you're using a timing tape, after you make that mark in between the two of those points, that's where you put your zero. That's your top dead center. Okay? And especially if you're using one of these um, uh, multi-piece harmonic balancers that has the, um, it's like a rubber um, that joins these two together. Over time, those will adjust. So if you're using a regular timing tab, it's got your um, 4, 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 14, 16, however far in advance you have with your single line on your damper, you might not exactly be correct. So it's always okay to double check that. Always double check it, especially if you're getting into something that's more performance based, if you're using a, a used um, harmonic balancer. So once you've found top dead center, you get your engine at top dead center. Okay, what do you do now? Well, six cylinder wants a top dead center. Let me get this put back on here right there. Okay, set your distributor in. And like I said, it doesn't matter which one of these you use, as long as your rotor button is pointing towards top dead or top for your number one cylinder, you can use any one of these. Just line your coil up, because this will actually spin, okay? And your rotor button on the inside will stay the same. So it doesn't matter. Use it however it fits. Okay, it's as long as your rotor button is pointing towards number one. That's the most crucial part. Any other of these you can do. Okay. Now, once you have it set at top dead center, we'll say we're looking at it like this, which is pretty much what you're going to see looking at it this way inside your motor. Um, your wires are going to be coming off of here. You got 12 volts going in. You've also got a wire that comes off of the left hand side. It can go to your tack and run your tachometer. All right. What you're going to do at this point is start putting your plug wires on. Now, where do your plug wires go? Well, the firing order again is 18436572. So, find your number one cylinder, and in your number one cylinder is easy to find because when you're looking at the front of your motor, your number one cylinder on a small block Chevy, it's always the front one on the right hand side of you, or if you're in, sitting inside the vehicle, the farthest one from you on the driver's side, okay? One, three, five, and seven. I'll do this like you're looking at it, okay? One, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight on the passenger side of the vehicle. You take your pedestal that matches with whatever coil, or, you know, wherever your rotor button is, match up a pedestal to that. Put your number one spark plug wire on that. Run that to the number one cylinder. Go to go from one, go to number eight, take an eight plug wire over there. One, eight, four, take this one to four, three, three, five, seven, two, so on and so forth. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. Okay? That's pretty much it. It's not, it's not too difficult. Um, so, I mean, there's really not much more to say about this. It's a really, it's a really easy process. Don't let all electrical stuff get you too frustrated because it's really not that bad, guys. Um, it's extremely easy to understand, and I, I hope my video helps you um, with some of this stuff. Um, kind of take some of the guesswork out of it. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. You got your 12 volts going in. Make sure these are hooked up properly. There's only one way they can go in. There's a tooth here that will only let it go in a certain way. So you, you, can't, you can't mix up how this plug goes in. It only goes in one way and that's it. Once you've got it installed, rotor button pointing towards number one cylinder at top dead center, 18436572. Just line your plug wires up that way and you're pretty much golden. And then after you've done that, then you go back and watch the timing video again and see just how to set your ignition timing. And again, when it comes to ignition timing, um, on a stock motor, if you're not running like an aftermarket cam, if it's not worn completely the hell out, um, usually between four to eight, and most of those engines is comfortable for unleaded, you know, 87 octane fuel. Okay, you don't start getting into a higher, or excuse me, I should say, a more advanced timing curve, or 
base timing, idle timing, unless you are running a higher octane fuel with more compression, bigger cam, and it depends on what you're going to be doing too, because the 87 octane fuel is a little more unstable. Okay, the difference between racing fuel, and a lot of people don't understand this, racing fuel burns slower than your regular unleaded 87 octane lowered octane fuels. Your 87 octane is less stable. It can pre-detonate a lot easier than say a 110, 115 octane race fuel. So when you're when you're selecting your timing, you have to base it upon your compression, you gotta base it upon your cam, um, what kind of RPMs you're gonna be turning, you're looking at your fuel, what kind of fuel you're running. There's a lot that goes into that. It's not just as simple as going, okay, it's a set number. Um, if your engine's a little more wore out, you might have to compensate for that a little bit because it's not going to run like it was brand new, so you might have to make an adjustment for that. But the basics were here. 1843-6572. Line up your rotor button with the number one cylinder at top dead center. Put your plugs on 1843-6572 on any of these pedestals as long as it lines up to your rotor button with that post. That's pretty much it. And then don't worry so much about these as long as you got them plugged up. That's just for your HEI, okay, for your ignition control module and all that stuff. So don't worry about it too much. I hope this video was helpful. I look forward to getting more out to you guys. I'm sorry it's been so long. And um, I hope you enjoy my political rants and stuff too. Um, this country is in a messed up situation. And I just I wish everybody could just take more time to look at the big situation and um, just kind of understand what's going on. This is an important year for us. And... Um, I hope everything goes smoothly. But regardless of who you're voting for, what all's going on in the world, you know, we can still be gearheads. Um, everybody be cool with each other. You know, don't don't buy into all this, this BS stuff. Um, but anyway, there's your information on your distributor. I hope that helps you out, brother. Um, again, please send me um, some ideas on this little stuff. I'm working on my ADZ28 right now, and between my job, I drive 70 miles away. I don't have a lot of time to make a lot of videos, but this little stuff's pretty quick and easy to explain. Um, and once all this stuff kind of winds down for me, I'll get back to making videos and stuff. And they're going to be more performance-based. Um, I worked on cars for a while. Kind of got out of that. I, I enjoy doing more of the performance aspect of stuff. So building race engines and stuff. I got a Facebook page, um, Zach's Muscle Motors. Go check it out on Facebook. Um, you can watch the project going on with the Camaro, um, and you know I'll put post my videos up there and stuff. You just kind of check that stuff out. So you guys take it easy. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Like and subscribe, and go to Facebook and like our page and share it. You guys are awesome. Great comments. You guys are cool. Take it easy. Take care. We'll see you later.